everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles, and whoa, you can see my lights today, the chains hanging all over the place, some other apparatus stuff. I've been working really hard to finish off this 23 pounds of shopgoodwill.com jewelry. So I'll stop chatting, I'll turn the camera around, and we'll finish up. So hang with me, let me know what you like, what your favorite is, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much. Hi everyone, check out my table. I told you I have a lot going on with all these little tiny pieces and little things to finish off this box. It was a lot of pieces, but I'm glad to be back. So with that, let's get it going. Okay, a couple of uh, necklaces that are, this one's really beautiful with all the rhinestones. I checked it and every single rhinestone is there. Isn't that lovely? A beautiful design, almost like a heart. The rhinestones are a darker grayish color, I think. It's gold tone, really nice chain. Um, let's see what my little scribbly notes say. It's vintage and all complete, that's what I wrote. So this is about 15 inches. And I'll show you the back. Really pretty gold color. Looks like it's never been worn and does have an older spring ring. So I'll say $8 on that. Next is another rhinestone necklace. This is silver tone. Isn't that a pretty shape? So your basic rhinestone necklace on a beaded, you know, little dash beaded uh, chain, lobster clasp. It's got quite an extension, very good shape. It measures 14, 15 inches, and then you've got another five extension. So I'd say 15 to 20 on that one for the length. And then I'll say $5 on the rhinestone. I hope you're all having a great week. I did spend so much time, really all day yesterday, finishing up all these little pieces. So many things need to be looked at and gone over. Let's see what's next. Where can I even start? Uh, let's start on some of these other necklaces. So we have this tassel -y piece. It's gold tone with silver tassels. It's actually got like clear beads. It's not gold tone. Sorry about that. The extender is gold tone. So if there's any interest in that, I'd say a dollar. Clear beads on the outside. Ooh, we have a vintage um, Mary DeMarco bracelet. This is quite lovely. Has ladybugs, red stones, and I think these little cabochons are testing garnet. I'm not sure if Mary DeMarco uses real gemstones, but they do seem to be testing in the garnet area. And the other ones, the other stones are glass but it's all complete. It's really adorable. There's your maker mark on there. I'm gonna to have to do something about the camera so it's not competing. That better? I think so. Okay, so that's our Mary DeMarco. I looked up what these go for. Um, they go for about 25, even more. I guess they're vintage and they're collectible, but this is a size seven. And I'll say 18 on the Mary DeMarco red ladybug bracelet. Next is a Kendra Scott bracelet. Really pretty. Silver tone. When I went to research this, I looked up crown because to me it looked like a crown. And that's actually what it's called. So the signature's in there, Kendra Scott. All the rhinestones, of course, are there. It's in beautiful shape. I don't think anyone's ever worn it. It's called Crown Mary Caroline. And let me give you a measurement for the Kendra Scott. It's seven and three quarters. Inside is perfect. And let's see what my kitchen scratch says on this one. Um, $18 on the Kendra Scott. So that's that one. So when I look on uh, the things that have sold, I then I take the price down a little bit more so it's not as much as what they're selling for. So I hope that helps. This is so beautiful. It is on a Alexis K um, 
necklace. It's got the Alexis K signature there. I couldn't find much on Alexis K. Uh, the chain is not sterling. It is silver over brass, but it has real pearls on it. Beautiful pearls. And I love all that filigree. So you've got all the filigree, silver tone, pearls, more filigree, more pearls, more filigree and more pearls. Really pretty necklace. I was so glad it, that there was a maker and I was happy to see all these pearls. So there you go on the neck. And let's see, these go for about 30, so I'll say $20 on the real pearl. Has AB crystals in between too. Um, on the real pearl, uh, Alexis K. And let me measure it. It's a nice long necklace. So you're getting lots of pearls and a really versatile necklace. And it is 40 inches long. So there you go. Beautiful pearls. Okay, next is, oh, this is a Chico's bracelet. I was so excited to see this because we see Chico's necklaces all the time, sometimes earrings, but very rarely do we see the bracelets and they're gorgeous. So this has an amber colored glass plus some faceted gold tone, some clear, and look how cute that brass square with the little stone inside is as well. And then it's got this shape on the beads. I don't know the year, I didn't look up the name of it, but it's in great shape, it's a toggle. And here's your other end of the toggle. So just a great Chico's piece. Did I show you the tag? It's right there. Oops, it fell, okay. There's your Chico's. Let me give you a measurement and see what I found for a price. Oh, I can't read my writing. So it measures about seven and a half. Again, they're such great pieces of jewelry. I'm gonna say 15 and it's in great shape and worth every bit of that, I think. Okay, then we have a Brighton bracelet. So we found some nice things in this box and it is signed inside, of course. There's your Brighton um, B right there. And it's one of their bracelets with a little bit of scroll and open work. Let's see if I found a name on this one. I think I just found the word scroll when I looked it up. But it too is in very good condition. And this one sells for 24 to 40. And I will just say $18 on the Brighton. If you love Brighton, that, that is definitely their signature sort of scroll work. So to me, it says Brighton all over itself. Seven and three quarters. Beautiful Brighton. What else do we have? We have a Celtic Sea Gems. And this is a brooch. It's marked on the back. Some swirly work on it. Silver tone. And this is for $10. They sell for more, but I'm going to say 10 Got turquoise and blue. Very pretty. Next, ooh la la, this is so nice. This is a caged crystal necklace by Dana Bachman. So all the crystals are there and they're sort of caged in the links of the chain. I'm calling it a caged one. If that's not right, you can let me know. And I'm pretty sure that's Dana Bachman. I know it's not Banana Republic. Um, all the crystals are beautiful. They're big crystals and they're all there. Silver tone chain, just a pretty, pretty piece. I almost put this on for the video. I had a couple things on, but so there's that one. Isn't that so sparkly? And I have a price of 18 on this Dana Bachman, but I will say $15. It's got nice weight to it, $15 Dana Bachman. And it is 35, 36 inches. So nice, long piece, great shape. Okay, that one's empty. Woohoo! Oh, we're also gonna be filling a craft jar. Yay! 
We haven't been doing that for a while. So I will give it a start. I've already kind of put some pieces in from this stuff that I went through yesterday. So I apologize that you're not seeing me go through that process, but look at all the rhinestones. Isn't this lovely? Too bad there's a couple of missing, but that's our first deposit in our summer cup. And I named it summer because summer's almost over. And I thought it would be our way of saying goodbye to the summer. I really like this necklace because of course it's all abalone, but what was wrong with it? I think the chain, oh, the chain is brass. Something was wrong with it. I trust myself with that. There was something, but there's lots of abalone pieces on here that someone can use. So I thought that would be very nice. Could make some beautiful abalone earrings out of those big pieces, I think. So in our jewelry hospital you go. Oh, this I really loved. And a lot of the young people are wearing these choker length chains right now. Very dainty with the little beads. So I really wanted to sell this, but it's just this one bead is slipping a little bit. All you have to do is like open up that link. I know it would be so easy, but someone else can do that and have yourself a beautiful necklace because that's a part of the craft jars as well is a lot of it can be worn or simply fixed and you can have some nice jewelry. I've got a little beaded stretch bracelet. This is another lovely dainty chain. Um, I think it didn't have, yeah, you got to put a clasp on it. Otherwise it's in great shape. And then we have this big copper key, which is really cute. That would make a nice necklace. You can take that ribbon off if you'd like. And what else? Lots. I have lots of things. So as we go along, I will add more and more. Let's get a few of them out of the way just for funsies. Okay, we've got nothing wrong with this. I think this is one of those watches that hangs down or something. It's like a nurse's watch and then when she flips it up, she can see it. That's what, at least what someone told me on the comments. One acrylic earring, some nice bits and bobs, a very pretty rhinestone ring, has some wear, another couple of pieces. This is looks like a little earring and some more couple of earrings. This is a nice silver plated, nice thick plated, but there was only one. And what's this necklace say? Uh, let's see. Where is Loopy? Loopy, where'd you go? Here it is. It says, oh, this is that sports necklace. Okay. So it says something about sports. Then you've got a couple of bangles to do something with if you'd like. Very sparkly stretch ring, copper color. Some more stretch bracelets for the beads. Doesn't that look very bright? And it might be, let me see, but whether it is or isn't, it needs a new stretch on it. So that goes in the hospital. These are some nice clip-ons. You could probably put some rhinestones or something and dress those up. And just some more little things. So that's that for now. We'll put some more things in it as we go. But I wanted to give it a good start anyway. Okay, oh, where do I start this so much? So this necklace, I kind of don't want to sell it because I want it for my color jewelry bags, but I'm going to offer it. It's a Premier Designs. It's one of those that has three chains and then you can take off the color beads. So this one's removable and you can wear just the chains or you can wear them all together, but I love those turquoise color beads with the brownish color with them. So sparkly and pretty. It's in wonderful condition. It measures, uh, let's see. Oh, I have to double that number, 18 and 18, 36. Wow, that was hard. It is signed, Premier Designs, I already told you that. And it can look like this if you wear it double. So let's see, did I write a price? I'm gonna say 18 on this. 
and we'll see what you all think. If someone loves it, they'll grab it up. If not, I'll see about putting it together with something uh, tomorrow night, if I can get to the bags tomorrow night. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, if you're new to my channel, um, somehow along the way, I started making color-coordinated bags of jewelry, and it's turned into something really fun. Some of us really look forward to it, so. I put together a necklace, earrings, bracelet, different pieces of jewelry that look like they match pretty well, and sometimes I post that video on a Friday or Saturday night, so that's what I mean about the color bags. Okay, so here's a cute pair of silver tone earrings. They have a cute shape. They could be a D, I suppose. They reminded me of hangers. They're in wonderful condition. I put clean backs on them, and I'll say $2 on those. I'm going to move the earrings up because we have quite a few, and that way I don't have to reach in front of you. We have these nice big boho earrings. They are silver tone, but they're kind of um like, oh, how do I say, a roughed up silver tone to make it look very boho. Nothing missing, pretty beads on them, pierced of course, and I'll say $6 on those. Next are some lever backs with peace sign on them. I did test them, they're not sterling, they're sterling plated, but that's your lever back silver tone earrings, and I'll say $4 on those. These are so cute. They have little tiny tiger's eye beads on them and a very substantial, nice, like heavy piece of metal, almost like a heart shape, brushed gold tone. And look at the, the ear hook. Isn't that a pretty shape? So I don't know who made these, but they're so beautiful. And I put some backs on there. I'm gonna say, I'll say 10 on these. I think they're definitely worth it with the tiger's eye. Just really nice. Cute, cute, cute. And then we have these multi-metal. They are signed. And they even have these really pretty little um, rhinestones in there. So they're like a hammered gold tone. And then this is like a gun metal. They have gold wires for pierced. And that's kind of what the signature on the back looks like. I'm not sure if I can get it on camera. I'll try, but when you look at it in the loop, I think that's it right there. It looks like like a sideways, well, almost like um, you know, like you're holding up a magic wand sideways. That's what they're marked with. I don't know what they are, but they're pretty. And I will say, oh, there it is. There, I'm sorry. So I'll say eight dollars on those multi metals. Oops, I'm over here. Look how gorgeous these are. I was so sure these were sterling. And they look very, um, what was a bracelet I just had? They look very Brighton too, don't they? But I don't see any B for Brighton, unless I'm not seeing it. But nonetheless, they are very nicely silver plated, lever back, adorable earrings. And I'll say $6 on those. Then we have another lever back. They have a rhinestone in the middle and then almost like a silver chain around the rhinestone. Then some very nubby gold tone textured circle again and then almost like that silver rope again. Really pretty, very sparkly and I'll say $7 on those. They almost look like they're a yellow color but they're actually the gold and the silver tone with the rhinestone. These I love too, aren't those awesome? They're so shiny. I love the, you know, the odd shape that they are. They're very good weight to them. And also, look what great shape they're in. So these are silver tone earrings, and I will say uh, $6 on these. Nice, nice condition. And these are cute too. Silver tone with that little um, oval shape and they have a little piece of like soda light on them. And I put new backs on again and I'll say five on those. So yes, we're moving some earrings along. 
Look at how cute these little LC, probably Liz Claiborne. They are like a turquoise enamel, so pretty. I'm sure they're older. And I forgot what these are called, where they just sort of slip in that little groove right there. But that's what these are. Aren't they tiny and adorable? I'll say $7 on those. Okay, next we have these Maltese Cross, and this tests as Lavender Jade. Super, super cold. They're not sterling, but they are a beautiful Lavender Jade. They don't test in quartz, they test way up there. So I thought those were beautiful, and I'll say 10 on those, silver tone. Okay, we've got some real treats here. We have a mood ring that has a dolphin on it. It's always hard for me to get these to work because my hands are kind of cold, but let me see if I can show you. But yeah, it's a dolphin and a mood ring. Oh, there you're seeing it change. It's not sterling, it is adjustable. It, um, yeah, it's not marked that I can tell. Let's see how it's adjustable right there. So it must be an older one. And it's a cutie. And people love these mood rings. It's almost at, at a seven, but again, you can adjust it. And for, I'll say $12 on the dolphin mood ring. That's a lot of fun. This is a beautiful piece of tiger's eye. I can't believe how big it is and pronged like that. But it's not on silver or gold. It's on an adjustable ring. So it's a vintage piece, but what a pretty piece of tiger's eye. And this measures, oops, sorry, um, eight and a half, like eight and three quarters. And you can adjust it. But I would say $6 on that nice tiger's eye. Okay, next we have a nephrite ring from the 70s. That's a pretty stone. And it does have a little bit of yellowing from the rhinestone glue, I guess. So, oh, I know what that is. Those are marcasites in there, and there is one missing there and there. So it's a pretty ring. I'm not sure if someone's going to want to wear it or fix it up, but it's a nice vintage piece and it measures a size eight and a half, and you're welcome to that for $3. This guy is, I guess, a unicorn, and it's on a chain that's signed Zad. I do know that this is a good maker, and people love this kind of jewelry. I don't know if it's silver plated or what, but that's that piece. I don't know if you wear it that way or this way, but if it's this way, then it's got some bubbly on it. So I'm not sure what to make of that. I think you probably wear it this way, but it's up to you guys. I will measure it. It is 18 inches. And if you think that's good that way, you'll just do $4 on it. And you can see what you think of that. Okay, next we have, I think I might want to, I'm going to hold on to these for a little bit, these clip-ons, because I started wearing clip-ons and I'm enjoying it. So I will do a catch and release on these. Let's see what I think about them. I'll wear them for a little bit and we'll see. We'll see on those. Next is a tourmaline and cubic zirconia sterling silver ring. This is a really beautiful piece. Big, giant, pink tourmaline, big, giant cubic zirconias. It is marked 925 inside, and I tested it, but it's actually gold over sterling, so it's vermeil. Beautiful ring. Let's see what size it is. So you've got gold over sterling. It's a six and a half, maybe a little bit over a six and a half. The gold plating is wonderful. Again, it is sterling underneath, and I tested the stones as well, so this is a beauty. Um, I'm gonna say, oh, 
I don't know what to price this. It's Vermeer. It's got the stones. I'll, I'll say 50 on this, and you can tell me what you think. It is sterling silver, and it's a real stone. So we'll see what you think about that. Next up, we have, oh, this is a Sarah Coventry. And I know there's a lot of Sarah Coventry pieces that have this faux opal. So this is a part of a set that has this faux opal. I've seen other pieces that this would go with. So, And I love the back of it. Isn't that cute? I like the signature there and how they did the the fact that it's, it's sizable, but it looks nice, you know? So that's a Sarah Coventry. Someone's got a set of Sarah Coventry that this will go with. It's sitting at a little over a five for now. And I will say 12 on the ring. This is a stunner. This really had me because it looks so real. But it doesn't have, I don't think it has any marks on it. I can't remember. That's why I put my little notes on things. No marks. It doesn't test as gold. It is cubic zirconia, but it's beautiful. Definitely will give some beautiful wear for a while, sure. Looks so real. This one is a size 8 almost, and it is a little bit of a wide band. So when a band on a ring is a little wide, you want to go a little bigger on the size than you normally would. So isn't that pretty? I'll say 14 on the very sparkly cubic zirconia ring. Now before this piece gets buried, you've seen this in the untangling. So let's talk about the Banana Republic necklace. Another one that I wouldn't mind making um, a set of jewelry out of, but that's okay. We'll make them out of the things that don't sell. So this is the one that's on a silver tone chain and it has all these glass beads on it. And it takes just a little fiddling around, but once you get it untangled, it's beautiful. It does need a little bit of attention, don't you, baby? Just a little fiddling. Come on. Come on. There's probably an easier way to do it, like, you know, maybe pull it out that way. And I think do I have all the chains in my hand? Oh, Sherry, come on, you gotta get this right. There it is. Okay. Banana Republic glass crystal necklace. Gorgeous. With these sort of snowflake designs. They're faceted. Some of them are teardrop, and some of them are this, I guess, um, hexagon? whatever that shape is. But the crystals are beautiful. The chain is an excellent shape. It is four layers, right? One, two, three, four. Look at all the chain, beautiful condition. And does this one allow you to take some of them off? Nope, it just clasped right there, says Banana Republic on the tag. So I'm gonna say $16 on this. It measures 26 inches on the first section and then probably 30 on the last so just a beautiful beautiful necklace from banana republic and before i send it away i want to remind you of the earrings that sort of match where did they go here they are banana republic earrings i think they do match i think i figured that out before because that's a little teardrop so beautiful Banana Republic earrings as well. And they are also in excellent shape. And I'll say $7 on the earrings. So that's pretty, isn't it? And that way, if you want to buy both pieces, you can separately. Or if you don't, then you can uh, just get the one that you want. Okay, next we have a gold tone necklace with a circle pendant. But it has this type of closure where you pull it this way. 
So I thought that was kind of neat. It's in really good condition. It's a long necklace. And I'll measure where it is now. It is at 30 inches and it still has this far to go. So it could probably go, you know, it could go to any size. You could pull it shorter this way. So I like how it's very adjustable. The chain feels very nice. So I'll say $7 on that one. Next we have, is this the, this is the Amway necklace. I don't know if there's any interest in that, but it's very nice looking. It's got their logo there, signature there. And I think it's like a red enamel Amway there. I would say it's probably gold plated. Certainly looks it. It's a 20 inch chain and I'll say five on that. This is a stone that I had around. It's beautiful. It probably tests as amethyst. It's got the silver around the edges and I put it on this really pretty sparkly silver tone chain. Gorgeous necklace, beautiful stone. I'll say $12 on this new chain. And the chain measures 16 inches, and then you've got another two inches extension. So that's a pretty color. Then we've got, we're moving right along, a loft necklace. Nice long necklace. It is gold tone. It's a little bit of wear on the back near this tiny spring ring clasp. Uh, when you get right past this part, it's gold and looks nice. And there's red glass beads and crystals in little chunks. And then it has this little design along the chain. So it just goes on like that. Pretty colors, I think, for the fall. And they're all cold. They are glass. And it's in good shape, other than that little part in the back that I let you know about. So for the loft necklace, it is 32 inches. And I'll say $7 on the loft. I feel like it's kind of dark in here. Let's see. Move my lights up. It's getting darker outside, so that's probably why. I'm sorry, I forgot to remind you that if you see anything you like, the way that you purchase is to email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. And when you send your email, send me the video name, the episode number, the timestamps of when your pieces of jewelry show up on the screen, and the way you get the timestamp is you just push the pause button and you'll see the time to the left. Give me a brief description of the pieces that you like and the prices that were given. And I'll be able to find what you're asking me for really quickly with this information. So thank you for that. Okay, next we have a very lovely turquoise color. I think this is glass ring. It's not sterling. It is silver tone. It's also adjustable. And... It's in great shape. It looks too like no one's ever worn it. It's sitting at a six, but again, it could adjust. And there's no wear on it. Look how pretty the band is. Really thought that was sterling, but it does magnet a little bit. Isn't that pretty? Don't know if those are seed pearls or if they're imitating them, but just a lovely ring. And I'll say $6 on that. Lots of nice rings in this too. So I, <laughs> I made a lot of necklaces yesterday because I had a lot of chains and pendants. And this is, I don't know if this is jade. I'll have to check it right now. But this is an older pendant that I had for a while. And I just put it on this lovely chain. Chain says loft on it. So I used a loft chain but the loft pendant was no good, so I took that off. So let's see what Miss Prissy says this pendant is. 
I think this is something I've had for quite a long time. It was mine, so we'll have to see what it is. But it's a green stone nonetheless, and while we're waiting for her, the necklace measures 18 inches, and then you've got an extender, two or three inch extender. And I love it when they have those rings that you can clip it on for different sizes. It just makes things go easier, doesn't it? Come on, Miss Prissy, what you got for us, girl? Come on. Wake up. Here she is. Okay. So, yes, it's not jade. It must be nephrite. So, another piece of nephrite. I think they used nephrite a lot in the 70s because people were really into jade, and this was a cheaper way to get a piece of jade. But that's that necklace, and I'll say 7 on the nephrite with the loft chain. Thanks, Miss Prissy. This is that gorgeous ring that we saw. Isn't it pretty? This says, I have it saying sterling plated. So it is sterling plated. And, oh, that's right. It says PL inside. So I think that's what the PL meant was plated. So sterling plated. So many rings, I can't remember unless I write it down. Um, let me size it. Eight. Size eight. No wear on it at all. Look at it. Stunning. Gold tone here. Silver tone. Big whatever these are. We're going to check it right now. So for the stone, I think it looks more like a man-made stone, but it's still gorgeous. And it looks like a tourmaline. So purple tourmaline stone. Oops, it's so slippery. And this is either glass or it's definitely crystal because I can see all the rainbow colors in it. So probably lead crystal gems on the side. Mm, it's kind of not going to tourmaline that well. It's funny because it did last night, but okay. So it's either glass or tourmaline. It's a beautiful stone silver plated, size 8, and I'll say 12 on that gorgeous piece of jewelry. What have we next? Okay, this had something on the back of it. What did it say? Oh, it's an Avon piece. Okay, so we have this cute flag Avon pin. I'll say $3 on that. Enamel, very good condition. Else. Oh, there's so many things, so much fun to have here. Okay, this is a vintage, I think it says Korea on it. It's a diamond rope chain. It's in really good shape. The gold tone on it is lovely. So I thought that was definitely worth passing along. It's in great shape. I like the ends of the chain right there with the little nubs the older spring ring, and yes, it says Korea. So it's a vintage piece, and it measures 17 inches. So isn't it pretty? And I'd say $6 on that. Then we have, look at this Chico's bracelet. Isn't that stunning? The gold tone on it is gorgeous. It's a lot like those earrings I had on earlier, isn't it? Which I will get right now. Aren't they fabulous? They say craft on them. I think they're vintage Coro craft. That's what I wore at the beginning of the video. And they're kind of the same brushed gold tone that was so popular in the 80s. But, oh. I, I thought I would just put these on for fun. Now I'm in love with them. I really need to sell them, but I'm in love with them. They do go for about $140, so this is going to be fun to either sell on eBay or wear them for a while, or if someone here wants them for $140, you're welcome to them. But they are vintage, and they're signed craft. If I can let them go, they're so pretty. Okay, that made me think of the 
the bracelet made me think of those earrings. So it's got that beautiful gold tone. And there's your Chico's name right there. Look at the condition of this. Isn't that great? I love that most of the jewelry is in such good shape. This bracelet measures probably a seven, I guess. Cuff bracelet, gorgeous Chico's. Oh, I don't even know what to ask for this. I'm going to say 15 on that. I think it's worth that. Beautiful condition. Next is this one I'm going to have to put aside because these Southwestern handmade copper bracelets go for a ton. And I don't want to say the wrong price. I do need to clean it a little bit and look for some marks, but wow. Keep on the lookout for things like this because these go for a lot. And this is a beautiful piece. So I'll keep looking for price on that one. This one has this logo on it, ST. I don't know what it stands for. I tried to look it up. Took a screenshot. I have no idea. But it's pretty. It's got a big black glass, almost Rivoli type stone. Rhinestone here with a sort of a rope design and a black enamel. And it's a lovely bracelet. No wear on it again. And it measures seven and three quarters. Pretty piece. So if you know what that ST means, let me know. I know it's not St. John's, but that's the logo. I'd love to know what it is. And I will say $8 on the bracelet. Then we have, what is this guy? Something I needed to test? No. Okay. I think I was going to put this in the craft jar. So that is going to go in our... Where'd Summer go? Summer, where are you? There it is. Okay. That goes in there. This, I wondered if it was sterling, and it's not. I did test it. But it's nicely plated. And it's not magnetic, so it must have like a nice brass underneath or something. So sterling plated bangle bracelet measures 8 inches, and I'll say $4 on that. Then we have this gold tone bracelet. I, ha I did know what that little signature was at one time, Effie or something. I have no idea, but it's got this groove in here. Is that so that people can put their hairband on there? I'm not sure, but it's in great shape. Measures six and three quarters, and I don't know anything about it. I will say $4 on that signed right there. And a similar one slightly grooved, not quite as definite as the other. This is silver tone. We have a helicopter going over. This is almost a seven and just looks like a good stainless steel shiny bracelet. I'll say three dollars on that. Next up is this bracelet that's got the ceramic beads. Closes right here with this little bead ball. It's cute. It's about a size 7 and I'll say $2 on that. Nice white beads with a little bit of green on them. This is a pretty bracelet. Very sparkly rhinestones in it but it's missing one of them. So I think it's going to go in our craft jar and yeah that will be fun for someone to make something out of. What is next? This would go nice with that rope chain uh, necklace. It's got a nice big lobster clasp, makes it look like it's real gold. It's a nice chunky chain bracelet at size 7. Good shape, nice weight to it, and I'll say 5 on that. Then we have the Swarovski bracelet. It's sort of like an Alex and Ani style. And look at that beautiful Swarovski crystal. Isn't that lovely? 
and then also one of their Swarovski pearls because they make pearls as well. It's not sterling silver. It's very new with the tag, no wear. And I'm not going to, well, do I need to measure it? Yeah, let's still measure it. Even though it's slightly adjustable, it sits at a seven and a half. I have no idea what these go for. I'll say $8 on the Swarovski. Next is a stainless steel bracelet with the anchor. I guess it's a nautical piece, right? Um, stays. Oh, I tested it and it sort of stays at 14K, but I think that's just because it's stainless steel. That's what my note said. Size 7, cute little anchor piece, great shape. And I'll say $4 on that. Do you guys know if something is stainless steel, if it's supposed to be marked stainless steel? Because I'm not sure. Sometimes they look stainless steel to me. This is a cute piece. I think we had two others that were copper. But we don't have two of these. So it just has a cute little knot in it. It's about a seven and a quarter. And yeah, this one will do for $3. Lots of nice bracelets, right? This is really pretty. It has that chevron sort of design. This is a gold tone textured here. Nice big rhinestones. It's, oh man, it's on a stretch, but it's really not going to go. It's in such great shape, but I wouldn't want to sell it to you and have it go bing-boing. So it needs a new stretch. Oh, so pretty. Okay, well, that's all right. That'll be a wonderful thing for someone to do when they're crafting. So no tears because someone else gets to enjoy it. This one is silver over copper. Letter C. Little rhinestone there, and it just opens like that. So if anyone would like a bracelet that is silver plated with the letter C, there you go. And it is about seven inches and I'll say three dollars on that. This one is very nice looking. Isn't that a great looking bracelet? It looks sterling but it's not. It has um, a sticker in it says made in China. I would say it's silver plated, I would think, or it looks silver. It has a beautiful silver look to it. Oh, it is sterling plated because I did test it and the outer plate is sterling, so that's good to know. It's nice and chunky, great shape. Love that design. And again, it's a clamper and it sits about seven. I'll say 14 on that. It's a nice piece. Okay, this bracelet, I just think is so pretty. I like the texture. It looks almost like a pearl on the end. Has a very iridescent, um, like a purpley coating. I didn't think much of the bracelet until I put it on and saw how pretty it looked. Does that look pretty? Except for my mosquito bite, it looks pretty. Let's see, I'll get it on this way. Does that look pretty on? So I like it. Um, it sits at a six and three quarters. And I'll say six dollars on it. If someone likes it for six, you're welcome to it. If not, I might wear it for a little while. Next is, oh, this is a pretty one. So you've got a light yellow, turquoise, uh, purplish, pink, and blue. And that, and then it kind of goes around the same colors again, purple, pink, oh no, more colors. That's a more of a purple and more of a yellow. So that's cute. This is silver over copper. There's no wear though. I only know that because I tested it. So it's on a stretch, great condition, really pretty piece. And I'll say $5 on that. This bracelet I thought was so pretty with the multi-metal, but I can't get this off. I don't know if it's a sticker. 
I tried alcohol on it to get it off if it was a sticky residue. So it's too bad because it's a great looking bracelet. I, I mean, I could still offer it if you didn't mind that little spot. I think it's pretty enough to offer. And if not, then you'll let me know that you don't want it. It's a seven and a half vintage fold over clasp bracelet, multi-metal, I'll say $3. This ring is glass. It is silver over copper as well, but there's no wear. It's all very new looking. And just a really cute piece for sure. Nice when you're wearing something yellow. I love the condition again. Measures seven and a half, and I'll say $8 on that pretty babe. Oops, I'm covering this other jewelry I didn't want to cover. Let's see. Yep, that we already talked about. That one, that one. Okay. I gotta move along because we have a lot. So some of you might remember this cute necklace from the unboxing. I like the bail. I like the eyes. They're made of glass. That's probably how light. There's the back. The chain is in great shape. And look at the earrings. Aren't they so cute? So you have matching earrings for the necklace. There's your chain with the lobster clasp. It measures 19 inches. And then you've got our little babies hanging on the extender. Like a two inch extender. Earrings are in great shape too. And for this set, I'll say 17. It's really cute. Great condition. Ooh, a lot of stuff in here. Okay, what have we got here? This is a beautiful stone. So yes, this came like this in the box. This is not a necklace I put together. I don't like the wear on the chain because it's a gold tone chain, but it's worn all the way up to there. So. I'm not happy with the chain, but I like the pendant. And I did want to test that beautiful, rich purple color. And it's definitely amethyst. It's actually going past amethyst. So maybe it's spinel. Either amethyst or spinel. It's quite a sizable pendant. I like that around the edge. So I think it's worth the pendant anyway. You can do what you want with the chain, put your own chain on it. But I like the pendant for $5, it's a nice stone. This is a oh, really pretty costume ring, gold tone. I think it has little rhinestones, but it's missing one, so that's gonna go in our craft jar. Pretty piece though. Look at this pretty baby. This has like a gold ball and then a nice stone in between, like a tennis bracelet. And this one is over sterling silver. So this is Verme tennis bracelet, fold over clasp. And it's got the big rhinestones all through it. So a tennis bracelet over sterling. I can't find a 925 anywhere, but look at the back of it. It's kind of hard to tell. But it definitely tests sterling underneath. I tested it three times, so I have no doubt about that. So it's a sterling or verme tennis bracelet. Um, great condition again. Looks like no one ever touched it. Size 7. And let's see how I can give you an idea of the size of the stones. Maybe on my hand you can tell. So pretty piece. I'll say 25 on that. This is another bracelet, sort of an equestrian um, style, gold tone, nice condition, big lobster clasp, measures seven, I mean eight inches, but you can adjust it, you know, anywhere from seven to probably eight and a quarter. So I will say four dollars on that. 
Now this piece I don't understand. Maybe you guys can help. It does not test as sterling, but it looks silver. Um, oh, that's right, it's silver over copper. That's what it was. I was confused about it because it was not sticking to the magnet, but it was not testing um, solid sterling, but that's why. I think, though, that it might be an old piece, would you say? It's got these filigree beads. It's just very different. It has a different metal tone to it. It's very long. I don't know what to make of it, but it's old or something. I don't think it has a clasp at all. So this one's very puzzling to me. I do think it's beautiful. I'll measure it. Um, gosh, it's off the table. It's longer than 60 inches. So maybe it's not a necklace. I mean, it has to be. What would be that pretty and not be a necklace? It's got to be. So it's sterling over copper, but there's no wear on it. Again, I only know that because I tested it. And I'm just going to say 25 and see what you guys think. I think it's a beautiful piece. I don't know what else to make of it. It's very different. Next we have, oh, this is a pretty one, um, but I think it's missing a stone. Oh, this is a nice silver color. It's usually like gold with silver accents, but this one's silver with the gold. Missing a stone over copper. So I guess it's going to go in our craft jar. But at one time, it was a very expensive-looking bracelet, for sure. So in our summer craft jar, it goes. Okay, this is like one of those Shopkins, and I'm going to have to take the charms off and sell them separately on eBay because people really do collect these, so I did figure out what that was, and thank you, some of you, that helped me to know who that was. So that's what I'll be doing with that one. This is a, I think it's one of those Spidel bracelets with the name Gary on it. The clasp works just fine. I'm trying to remember if this says stainless steel. Oh, here it is. Oh, it says Elco, E-L-C-O, nickel silver. So it's one of those vintage bracelets. Isn't it cool looking? So if any of you have a Gary and you want him to have a handsome bracelet, this one measures about seven and a half, and it's in good shape. There's a little bit of wear on the back, but you can still read where it says nickel silver, and the front is good. Um, did I price it? I'd say $8 on that. And we have a torque with nothing on it. It is sterling plated, just a torque. So I think I'll just hold on to that and see if I can find a pendant for that. This is a cute little paper clip chain. Um, it has a little crystal here. I don't know what that means. There's no maker. It's in beautiful condition again. It's a shorty, definitely a choker, but look how pretty. So good condition again. Yay for us, right? So I thought that was worth offering. And it measures 14 inches. And then you've got 2 inches. So 14 to 16 on the little paper clip choker. And I'll say $5 on that. So we're moving along, but there's still a lot to do. Oh, here's the craft bag. Okay. So this is the stuff I found in this box that's going to go in here. Oh, that's our other earring. Okay, so these are pretty nice hoops that are silver plated. I guess I thought there was only one, so now there is two in here. So you have a nice pair of earrings in there. And a pair of silver tone hoops. Just didn't think much of them. I love this earring. I wish there was a second one, but there isn't. So that's going in. Love this earring too, but there's only one. So hammer 
gold tone here with silver tone. Beautiful bracelet with the blue pearls and the rondelles, but needs a new stretch. This is a silver chain, really good shape, silver tone, but that has to be reattached. So just needs that spring ring attached to the jumper ring. And believe me, I did a lot of fixing of jewelry yesterday, and I'm not good at it because it's hard on my hands, but I can't do it all. Then we have a lot of these little rings. Some of them are gold tone, cute little party type rings. Some of them have silver tone. And this piece, this was on the loft chain. Remember I put something else on the loft chain? That's because I took this off because there's one little rhinestone missing, but it's a beautiful pendant. You can fix it. And remember it's from Loft, gold stud. This is such a beautiful bracelet. Oh, all encrusted with those crystals, but there's a lot of them missing. So that's a bummer. It's a toggle clasp, really nice bracelet. In the jewelry hospital, some more party rings, some more single earrings. Isn't that so cute? I wish there was two. Some hoops. Some more hoopies and party rings. This says something on it. Let me see what it says. Another party ring. Oh, that's the other earring to that sports theme. Okay, party rings. I know it looks like this is the other earring to the one I put in there, but it's a little bit different, so it's not bummer on that one, but party rings. And then I'm going to put some special stones in there because I like to do that. I put things aside. There's so much to do. I don't know if I should stop here. I might have to because there's a ton more jewelry. Let's have a look. I'm going to show you this. Because all of these necklaces, I spent so much time getting them all squared away, figuring out what they all are. Maybe I can't get this over here. I just think it's funny to show you. Look at this. All that stuff. So we can try to do some quick because this one is beautiful sterling silver. The chain is sterling. It's all been tested. It's marked sterling. And it's like a straight chain, you know, like a really tiny snake chain is what I want to say. And it has a big, beautiful tourmaline stone that's also sterling. It's marked sterling and it tests sterling. So this is a gorgeous piece. Very sparkly and beautiful. All sterling silver. It is 16 inches. And I'm going to say $30 on that one. Beautiful with the sterling as well on there and i always like to put the sterling in a different place so another sterling silver piece the again the chain is 925 sterling little spring ring on there dainty chain on this one and the pendant is sterling it's marked on the back it's tested as well and it says 925RL. I don't know if that means Ralph Lauren, but that's what it has on it. It's a heart, and then the heart in the middle has some rhinestones in it. But it's all sterling, and it measures 18 inches on the chain, and the pendant's lovely, and I'll say $15 on this one. Another beautiful sterling necklace. This is an older sterling silver Italy. It's marked all over the place like on these little end pieces on the clasp. It's just one of those vintage super nice chains. It's like um it's a box chain in a way but it's like a snake box chain. Does that make sense? So I cleaned it a little bit. I didn't want to clean it too much because some people like the patina. And then I put this pendant on there that is also sterling silver. Again, everything's been tested. And 
this is a pink tourmaline. Really big stone, isn't that pretty? So again, all sterling silver, sparkly, beautiful. Oh, I have something that might match this too. Oh, I know what it was, the ring that I already showed you. So that pink tourmaline ring, it's not in the shape of a heart, but we already did it at the beginning of the video. But just remember that that's sterling silver with a pink tourmaline as well. So if you wanted to get the two pieces and wear them together, you could. So that's a beauty. The chain is really substantial. It measures 20 inches on the chain and I'll say 35 on this. Got a beautiful heavy chain. We'll do a few more. I have to untangle them from this hangy thingy. Oh, we have a Brighton. So this is a lovely Brighton necklace. Cute little, probably Swarovski crystal I think they use. It's like a little flower pendant on a Brighton chain. And there's your typical Brighton clasp with the B for Brighton on the hang tag. Pretty little necklace. It measures 16 and then you have two inches on the extension. So a lovely Brighton necklace and I didn't price it. I'll say 20 on the Brighton. Um, let's see, was this one of my creations? Yes, this is one of my creations. So I put this chain, oh, I didn't see that. How did I miss that? Oh, that's too bad. Okay, so the chain, I somehow didn't see this yesterday, has some wear right there. That's really strange. Oh, and I put this key on it and I thought the metal matched so nicely. Maybe something got on it, I don't know. But it tarnished it a little bit on the end. Oh well, I'll just say a dollar on that. Next is, I have to get these all off of this. I put them on very nicely, so it shouldn't be hard to get them off. And if we can get through them quickly, we'll get a lot of them done. This is, has that nice lobster clasp that looks expensive. And it does have a signature. Oh, it says Thailand. And the other side says Thailand. But I don't think it's sterling. Sometimes the Thailand are, are verme, verme. This one I don't think is. But it is a glass pendant pretty yellow glass and clear. Uh, nice dainty chain with that cute lobster clasp. It's 16 inches with about an inch extension. And for this dainty baby, I'll say $4. Told you there was a lot of necklaces, right? This is a silver tone chain, spring ring clasp. Um, and I put the ballet slipper charm on it that I found in the untangle. So it's just silver tone slippers on silver tone chain. And it is 18 inches. And for that, I'll say $3. This is a pretty piece. This is a 1928 brand with a red stone. Very sort of vintage. Um, I don't know if it's like a gold tone or a copper. It's a different color, like an antique gold maybe, I don't know. It's more of a copper color to me, but it's in beautiful condition. It has the lobster clasp, I mean the barrel clasp, excuse me, and 1928 hang tag right there. Just a very romantic, pretty necklace with a dainty chain. This measures 16 inches with a about an inch and a half extension. And isn't that funny? The 1928 doesn't have the swirls on the back, but it has the hang tag. So maybe they didn't always put that on every piece. Anyway, it's lovely and I'll say 12 on that. 
Okay, I'm gonna grab a whole nother mob of these and see if we can just keep on getting them out of the way. Oh yes, remember these? These are the ones that say K18. Not 18K, but K18. They are the letters L-O-V-E. And I think there's an extra one in here. Oh boy. Um, there's one that's different. Let me try to get them apart. Got it. Okay. So here's each necklace. They're in good shape. No wear, nothing. And they say K18. But I've tested them. They're not 18 karat gold for sure. When I do the test, there's a silver color underneath. But it doesn't test silver either. So I think that's just the maker. And you've got the... Is it an L? Or is it two V's? Oh my gosh, I think it's two V's. So now we have V, V, O, E. Hey, we all thought it said L. Oh, it does, it does. Okay, so that's like a 90 degree angle for the L. And that's more of a 45. So all four necklaces spell love. I don't know, I guess someone would wear them together. And I'll say $10 on those four. And then there's another one from the same company, Substantial Lobster Clasp, which looks nice. And, oh, I'm sorry, this is from Madewell. Sorry about that. And it has a nice star on it. Beautiful color gold. And the Madewell tag right there. This measures 18 inches with a 4 inch extender. And I'll say $5 on that. Okay, I'm going to keep going and see if we can just get some more done. There's some cute stuff in here. And I really worked all, oh my gosh, the whole day yesterday on all of this. This is so sparkly and beautiful. It's a light color gold. The chain is a lightweight, I will say that. It doesn't feel like a super quality chain, but that's how it came with the pearl. And there was one earring, there wasn't two. In fact, here's the one matching earring. So if you like the necklace, you're welcome to the earring as well, or I can put it in the craft jar. But that's that, nothing wrong with it, it's pretty. Pretty color gold, 16 inches with four inch extender, sparkly pearl. I'll say $3 on that, and we'll throw the earring in. Next is one that I put together, yep. So I just had a vintage silver tone chain, and I put this dolphin on that came in the, in the lot. It's not signed that I can tell. Silver tone. It's cute. And it measures... 18 inches on the chain and no wear on it and I'll say six dollars on that. So a lot of little necklaces I gotta figure out how I'm gonna wrap these up. This is a beauty. So I put this on a brand new silver tone snake chain and it's just a gorgeous crystally blue bead with some rhinestones down this way. I can't really figure out what it is. Is it a rose in a vase uh, with a ribbon? I don't know, but let me know what you think. It is very pretty. Does it say something on the back? It does, it has some kind of a mark on the back, like a, almost looks like a backwards anchor. So not sure what to make of that, but it is glass, it is beautiful. And it's 15 inches, and I'll say 12 on that beautiful crystally blue necklace. What have we got here? We have some things to test. We have some sterling silver to let you know about. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we still have a bunch of necklaces. Oh my gosh, how long have we gone? I'm going to go for the long video and 
just get it done. Okay, this has all been tested and it is all sterling silver. So, unless otherwise, so. This is a solid sterling silver bangle. And it's got some really pretty, like a swirly, I guess there's no way to describe it, but to just show it to you. So a solid band here and then the textured band there. But it's all sterling. I probably should have got the scale out so you could see what it weighs if you need to know. It's a size eight and I'd say $16 on the sterling silver bangle. Pretty, right? These are beautiful earrings. They're all sterling. The chain part is sterling. The ear wires are sterling. They've all been tested. And these test in smoky quartz. They're ice cold. So these are gorgeous. All sterling, shiny, nice big pieces of quartz. Oh, but there was one thing about these. They have like a little scratch in that one stone. So if you don't mind that, then they're beautiful earrings. I don't know if it would show while you're wearing them, but I did want you to be aware of that. Ice cold, and they're nice and long too. They are over three inches long. Again, real quartz and all silver, sterling silver. So I'm gonna have to take the price down because of that little scratch. So instead of, I would say 30, I'm gonna say 18 on these. That's a lot of nice material. And then we have, of course, three Alex and Ani that are all solid sterling. And every time I offer these, nobody really takes me up on them. So I guess I'll just turn them in for scrap. But if you like, here's one with a ladybug. Again, all sterling silver, been tested. Alex and Ani, I'll say $8 on that. And then this one is just your basic Alex and Ani. Um, again, all sterling silver. And I'll say five on that one. Maybe someone can use the bracelet and have some nice sterling. This one's pretty. It's got a blue stone on it. So that's fun to wear. Uh, a crystal stone, and it's all sterling. So on this one, I'll say 12. So that's those. These earrings are marked 925 on the back, and they tested 925. So they are, they have a little bit of gold plating, and they're like a matte silver here. But they are all sterling and pierced with new backs on them and marked. So I'll say 12 on those. This is a beautiful sterling silver bracelet with a pearl on it. Look at the tiny little spring ring. Isn't that adorable? I like this. This is a beautiful bracelet for sure. And it is a real pearl. It's not a stretch. It's put together with a wire and with chains. So it's a nice bracelet. Measures kind of small, I think. I want to make sure the chain isn't tangled. It's like a liquid silver almost, so six and a half is probably the size. And I'll say for the real pearl and all sterling, 15 on that bracelet. Okay, I'm um, moving along. This is a heartbreak. It says 14 karat gold on this little post. And the post does test as 14 karat gold. It definitely does. But this part does not. So this is so puzzling. And this was on it. I don't know if that's faux tortoise shell or real. And there's only one. So we have a 14 karat gold post earring. Just one. <laughs> And I don't know what to make of it. Turn it in for scrap or something or just offer it for $5 if someone wants a single earring. The good part about this is if you're sensitive to metals, you've got the 14 karat gold post, but only the post, just so you know. This is a sterling silver ring with amethyst um, bezel set amethyst stones. And it's in good shape. 
stones are very nice. It does, uh, again, I've tested it all out. And it measures, it's got like a ribbed design, of course, open in the back where the amethysts are, mark 925 right there. So it's like a rope design on the outside, but nice and smooth on the inside. Nice light colored pretty amethyst. Well, they kind of look light colored from here, but it's a size eight. So I'll say $15 on that ring. Nice to get all the sterling in here and look how cute these are. They are sterling silver, the long wires like I love, and they are flip-flops in purple but they're sterling silver flip-flops. So that's nice because a lot of these are like just regular silver. These are marked sterling, they test sterling, and the posts are sterling. So love those long wires, and I'll say 15 on those. Okay, moving along. This is a 925 sterling silver pendant with a cubic zirconia um, crystal in it. And I could put this on another chain, but I got so tired, I couldn't do any more. So if you like a sterling silver pendant, it's got some good, good sterling there. You're welcome to that for $10. And these are nice. Oh, these are beauties. Sterling silver, almost like a ball of yarn wire earrings and this this is all sterling here as well and there's your wires all tested i love these they're really cute and i will say 16 on these it's a pretty good amount of sterling they're all wrapped up in a ball so fun it's so fun to have the sterling then we have a pair of vermeil earrings they say 8930 on them i don't know what that means but they also say 925, and I tested them. Gold over sterling, little star earrings, and I'll say $8 on those. So where are we on all of this? We still have these earrings. These, I need to clean these. I wasn't gonna do these because they need to be cleaned, but they are a gold tone. And just you're just going to have to imagine them clean. They're like a basket sort of thing. These are all beads at the top. They're cute. I'll say three on those, and I'll be cleaning them. And then this is just some really pretty glass earrings. They're not sterling, but they're silver tone, and they just need a good cleaning. Pierced earrings. Um, I will say six dollars on those these say rob a i don't know who rob a is they're little crystal tiny little half hoop earrings uh, again i will clean these but they're cute and i'll say five on those let me know if you know who rob a is these are so cute okay silver earrings and they do test as amber. When I put the flashlight on them, look what they do. Now that's what amber does, right? That's what it's supposed to do. So as far as I know, these are amber earrings on silver tone with filigree. So adorable. I put new backs on them. And they have that really pretty filigree on the back too. So I'm going to say 18 on these. And let me know what you think. That looks like amber to me. These are kind of like the other little half hoops that I just showed you. They are not signed Rob, whatever the other one was. They're sparkly, but they need a cleaning, so I will clean them. If you're interested in those, I will say $4 on those. Moving along, we have another pair of glass earrings. They are yellow glass. Pretty sure I tested these. I think I turned Miss Prissy off. I know I tested them. They're not sterling, but they are pretty big hunk of yellow glass. I'll give them a clean and I'll say $6 on those. 
um, another sterling ring, or is this the same one? Huh, now I'm confused. I think this is a second one because I don't think the first one that I had. Yeah, it is a second one. Here's the first one. And the second one, I just have a note on it that it needs a little cleaning. But it's exactly the same. And it is amethyst, I believe. Well, actually, it's testing more in the purple tourmaline not an amethyst but it's sterling and i did test it um, again rope design on the outside and smooth on the inside 925 up in the top okay that makes me wonder if this test is tourmaline then this one must have it's tough sometimes with the tester i mean oops it's got a little tiny needle on the end of it, so it's not always easy. Oh, I'm so glad. I wouldn't want you to think you're getting an amethyst ring when it was a purple tourmaline. That's why it's lighter color. All right, so anyway, we priced this one already, but I'm going to change it because it's not amethyst. It's tourmaline. So that one's all set. Now let's size this one, see if it's the same size. It is a, almost a size eight. So I don't remember what I priced that one at, but it's a sterling silver, light purple tourmaline ring. I'll say $15 on that one. Yeah, and I need to put it in my clean pile. Okay, this guy is a 925 Israel ring. I'm not sure what the stone is. It's been a while since I looked this up. But these rings go for a good price. Maybe it's something to do with the sterling that's made in Israel or something. But it's a beautiful ring. It's got three stones here, three here, and a huge one here. And they sell for $75. That's what they go for. It also has the letter PZ in it. P like Paul, Z like zipper. Oh, that's right, it's a clear quartz. It's a big piece of clear quartz. It's been a couple weeks since I tested uh, and looked at all this. So there you go, a giant quartz. And these are looking purple to me. Let's see what those test as. They are also kind of in the tourmaline. I wonder if she needs calibrated. Yeah, she's not even going up to calibration, so let me just take a minute to fix her up. I think Miss Prissy needs a doctor. So I calibrated it a few times. See how it is going to amethyst? So I was right about these purple rings being amethyst. So now we have to rewind again. All these are amethyst, so I was right about that. Um, and these are amethyst too. But I think she needs a new pen because I had to keep calibrating. So uh, Miss Percy needs a rest. Anyway, these rings really do sell well. Um, I'm going to say 60. They go for 75. I'll go 60 on it and see what you guys think. If you love that beautiful ring, you're going to love that. Size 6. Lots of silver on there. So we'll see what happens with that. We are almost done. So I told you about all of that. All that sterling I want to stay in the same bag. This stuff needs cleaned. Oh, I still have pieces back here, but I can't. Um, there is... A necklace it is it closes like this it's sterling plated and I just put this love pendant on it and I'll say three dollars on that okay so that's done 
forgot that there's a few more necklaces. I can always put them in my um, wearable jewelry jars. There's no problem with that. A glass heart on a cord. $3 on that. This is cool. I've had this vintage pendant for a long time, and I put it on this chain. I think it's cool. It looks very Egyptian. Nice chain I put it on. Um, 16 inches. I do love that. I'll say $12 on that vintage piece. Then we've got a dragonfly. And I put it on this silver chain, snake chain with a lobster clasp. Nice big dragonfly. There's the back. It's a 14 inch chain. Might be a bit short, but that's that's all I had left. So we'll say five on the dragonfly. Wow, there's a pile of stuff over here. You know that I want to open a new box of jewelry. You know how I get when we get to the end of something and I want to open a new box. And I have probably four boxes over there, so we got to get moving. This is a gold tone chain and it has a really long Y drop on it. So it goes like this and then all of a sudden this piece of chain drops down with a cute little cross. Isn't that beautiful? So there's your chain, spring ring clasp. The chain part of it measures 20 inches and then the Y drop piece is five inches gold tone, and I'll say $3 on that. Last couple of pieces are, I feel like a drum roll. Okay, this is a beautiful Roman necklace made by Roman. The chain is not Roman. The chain, I had to find one and put it on it, but I like this chain with it very much. So great condition on the chain has a lobster clasp, but there's your pendant. Isn't that beautiful? It's black, navy, turquoise, green, and red. So jewel tones. And it's marked Roman on the back. Um, it is a 20 inch chain, beautiful pendant. I'll say $12 on that. Then we have this adorable Vintage spring ring clasp, very bright gold, uh, little cameo necklace. Don't think it's marked. Oh, yes, it is marked with that little dot for Avon. So this is an Avon piece, and it is 18 inches, and I'll say $16 on the vintage Avon. We're almost done. Almost. We have some earrings to go. We have some rhinestone earrings. They are pierced. They are gorgeous. I can use these for my vintage, so it's okay if you guys don't need them. But if you do like them, $7 on those. Shiny silver tone little petal kind of earrings. That's the back. And we'll do $3 on those. Then we have a pair of zipper earrings. That's what they are, a zipper. They have like a number three on the back or something. But I put new backs on them, and I thought those were kind of cool. So I'd say $5 on the zipper earrings. This is a pair of like a mirror earrings on, you know, along with the long posts. I didn't test the posts on these, but they look sterling. But I'm not going to say they are without testing them. Um, I'll just say $4 on those. These are really cute. Gold tone, hammered look with rhinestones in the center. And they are pierced again with nice new backs on them. And I'll say $5 on those. Lots of earrings. These are cute little sunflowers. New backs on them, gold tone, no, silver tone. Silver tone posts. Sunflower studs. We'll do $4 on those. 
they're nicely made. They're not the little, little cheapies. And we've got some star earrings. They are really pretty, like a lighter blue, white, and red. And I'll say a dollar on those. Then we have copper earrings with a hammered look. Pierced earrings. Um, Two dollars on those. A lot of work here, huh? Very shiny, half circle, crystal, pierced earrings, three dollars in those. Hope you're keeping up with me. These are cubic zirconia and copper. So these are nicely made. They are solid copper and they're kind of wild because they, they go on like this, where that's the front and that's the back. And they're nicely made, so they're not just a cheapy run of the mill. And it's got a cool design on it, like a little ice cream cone almost on the bottom. Really nice cubics on there. And I'm going to say for these copper, I'll do $10 because copper jewelry is nice. Chico's. I forgot to tell you these match the bracelet. Look how pretty. They would match either bracelet, that big cuff bracelet or the one with all those colored stones on it. So that's right, this matches the bracelet. And there are Chico's signed, and I'll say $10 on these. These are like a purplish copper, and the middle is a gold tone, and then the bottom is a purplish copper. Does it make sense? Hope you can see the color. Pierced earrings, silver tone, wires that's the back and three dollars on those cuties these look like a nice pair of vintage earrings they're well made green rhinestone in the middle rhinestones all around in the teardrop shape um they are they're just nice nicely made i'll say six dollars on those then we have these threaders. So thank you for those of you that taught me that these are threader earrings. You just put them in and wear them that way. And they are acrylic, purple acrylic. They're in great shape. There's no wear to them. So you've got these earrings for, um, I'll say $4 on those. Gold tone, open work. Um, not quite filigree, but open work. Great condition. Pierced earrings. Um, clean backs. And I'll say $4 on those. Woo! Textured gold tone. A teardrop shape. This is like a sticker thing. So I'll say just a dollar on these because they have that little sticker thing on them. Now, other than that, we have a silver tone, cute little sunflower earring. I don't know what to do with the one-offs, um, because this one's tourmaline. I guess it'll just go in the craft jar. Um, I guess that can go in the craft. A pretty cubic zirconia. We'll put that in the craft. This is an amethyst and a sterling silver little stud earring sterling silver back it's hard to find sterling silver backs i almost want to keep it for that um i'm going to put it in the craft jar because it's nice to get sterling so and real amethyst and this one too this is sterling silver with crystals on it so when you get the craft jar you'll know that you have some sterling silver in there and then we have these long bar earrings, but they do move right about there. Rhinestone, beautiful, $5 on those. Oh, we have a couple of things to test to see if they're sterling. Because I thought it was going to be a quicker video. And sometimes you like to see me do the testing. I didn't want to do it all off camera, so... We'll test these last few pairs, and then we'll be done. So all of them are marked 925, but we're just going to double check them. 
these are marked on the sides. Yep, right there. So, personally, if something looks legit, I don't want to bother it, but when you're going to offer it to someone else, they need to know it's real. So that's that one, this earring. And then, again, these are marked. So we'll test this one over here. So I don't want to get next to that other place where I tested something. So that's this one. These have a beautiful patina and they've got all these different shapes going on. You can turn them so they all go together or you can wear them kind of crazy. But I love the patina on these. Test these right over here. And last but not least, these are Vermeil, marked 925, oval kind of a hoop with that snap back thing. So again, 925 right there on the side. And, okay, let me get it in the inside so it doesn't bother the earring. This is maybe like it feels terribly coated, so it's not so easy. All right, so those go to there. Ooh, I hope you like this long video. I'll test that one, that one, that one, and that one. Pop the bubble. Come on. And they are all blue except this one. Oh, you know how I hate to bother jewelry, but we gotta know if it's sterling or not. I wonder if my phone is wiggling. It looks like it is. Yikes. Um, well, it's a good thing you can't see it because it's not wanting to test. And yes, those are those are definitely um, gold over sterling. It is turning blue. So we've got these vermeil earrings, like an oval kind of hoop. And I'll say twelve dollars on these. Put it in my sterling pile. These super cool dudes. I love these. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 18 that way. Um, you know, if you love them, you love them. So 18 on those. And these are nice weight to them. If you're gonna have a pair of sterling silver hoops, this is the way to go. They're not the cheapy ones. They're pretty good and thick. Posts are nice and thick. So, and they're marked IBB, I think. No, marked SU. So we know they're sterling, and I'll say 12 on those. And the smaller little hoops. Maybe that's what my other tag went to. Yeah. These other sterling hoops, we will say $10 on these. So I think we're done. I know there's other stuff up here, but I can't get to it. It's just too much. Um, Maybe I'll add it into another video. Yes, I can't do any more. We have to finish our craft jar. And just enjoy a nice long video, I guess, because it means that next time we are going to have a new box of jewelry. A new box of jewelry. Beautiful cuff bracelet probably has a stone missing or something. That goes in the craft. Okay, where's all my special little things that I saved for you all? Here they are, my little treat bags, so that you can have some nice stones in the crafter. These beautiful that I keep adding, gorgeous crystal beads. 
with some gold tone ones in there too. That's like one of those necklaces that you get, the vintage kind that are all glass, like real crystal. This bag has a lot of glass artwork beads. Um, look at like lamp work stuff. More glass. The little sort of millefiori kind of stuff. Crystals. I like these glass beads. They're cool. And yeah. These are all glass. And then there's this cool one. So all those glass beads. What else? Oh, I love giving these. So Mother of Pearl, they have a little hole in them so you can make a pair of earrings or something out of those. And a beautiful couple of crystals. Vintage earring, pretty, pretty. This is a vintage bracelet. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Probably has one missing or something. So that goes in. Look at that earring, silly. Shell. Some acrylic, acrylic glass, bits and bobs. And this is some kind of beads. You know what? I'm not going to put that in. But that's a pretty pendant. And I'm just going to add the rest of these. I think there's... Yeah, look how pretty that is. That'd make a nice ring. I like all these rings, and then this is a tiger's eye. So, that's that. I could probably find some more things. How about a piece of malachite? Nice, right? Um, another tiger's eye? I think I got that at the fair from that girl when she gave me the stones. Probably jasper stone and some other kind of stone. So I know I wanted to share those. Beautiful earring made of mother of pearl. So I think that'll do it. That fills up the jar. We have the jar named Summer. And we'll do that one for $20. So just email me and let me know you want the craft jar named Summer. I'll put some bubble wrap on the top and tape it off. And that will be that one. So wow. I'm so relieved. You should see my table. It's so crazy. It's just so crazy with all this jewelry. I think that was a one earring. I'm going to put that in the craft jar. So, my goodness, thank you so much for spending all this time with me. I barely told you how to purchase jewelry. I don't think I held up my subscribe sign one time. So, please subscribe if you like the channel. Um, hit the bell and you'll be notified of the next time I post a video. I'm looking at that necklace holder up here and it's got no necklaces on it and I'm so relieved. So that's fun for me. I hope it was fun for you. And if you'd like something, just email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com and please include the video name with the episode number, the timestamps, brief description of the pieces and the prices and you've all been great about that and also if you want to understand what the partial pay invoices are please send me an invoice really if you want to keep shopping and you want me to ship all your jewelry together let's say you're shopping a couple of different videos and you want me to ship it together then you only pay your partial payment on your invoice it just makes it a lot easier for me let's put it that way so if you want to keep shopping, just pay the partial payment and you'll be all set. And the partial payment is the cost of the jewelry. That's all it is without the shipping. So I hope that helps. If it doesn't, send me an email and we'll talk about it. Okay, so thank you so much. 
how am I going to make a thumbnail out of this mess? Oh my gosh, there's so much on my table. I'll figure it out. But thank you so much, everybody. Can't wait to see you in the comments. Please leave me a comment down there and a like, and we'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Well, thanks so much for being here. I'm glad that you joined me. I can't wait to see you next time for the next video and to see what else we have in our unboxing. So we'll see you next time at the Bobbles.